Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I know, I'm copying, but that's okay. That's what we do on the YouTube world. Saturday to you all where we are going to do a um, retro rewind um, to um, some of Pinky's uh, Valentine's Day uh, you know the love that her and Timmy have and you know it, it just needs to be uh, it needs to be spread out everybody needs to you know see uh, the love between uh, Pinky and Tim and how outgoing she was and you know just everything that she did everything special she did for Valentine's Day uh, y'all I know that Pinky did do a video, um, she did a video on Thursday. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had some dental work done, and, uh, the right side of my face <laughs> is, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of hurt, it's sore, and, yeah, the, the right side of my face is uh, a little bit swollen and everything, so, um, needless to say, um, I'm gonna get through this, um, I know I need to talk. I know that, but it kind of it, it kind of hurts me. But I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna push myself through it. Uh, it is Saturday evening now, so this video uh, this video I, I'll be putting up tomorrow. And um, but I also do the um, uh, whatever the wh whatever she had on there the title um something the whole family will love. Well, we already we we pretty much can take a guess and. So, and she hasn't posted since, so I'm not too far behind. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I tell you what, sometimes that dentist, I think sometimes that dentist, he get pissed off at his wife or something. He get pissed off about something. He just, he just takes it out on people. I really do, really do think that because it's like, you got to be that damn rough. You know, of course, you know how they always are. Well, you know, I got to get in there. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's like, mm-hmm, sure you do. You trying to take your aggression out on me, buddy. So, uh, we're going to Valentine's Day food, what I ate. Not Valentine's Day food. <laughs> what we ate. No, what I ate. Just me. Just, just Pinky. Because it's all about Pinky. Uh, this was three years ago. February 14th, 2020. So, uh, let's have a look. Good morning, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at my family. Valentine's breakfast. Um, she, <laughs> Pinky likes to say, instead of saying breakfast, she says, uh, breakfast. I guess that's just lazy the way it rolls off the tongue. I don't know. It's hard for me to even say it like that. Ooh, Lord, that's sore. Um, but Cece, uh, Cece puts it down as Valentine's, uh, uh what is that, Ruffus? <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Valentine Ruffus. Mm, I think that's better than, uh, breakfast. I'm gonna work in school. Yes, I am. Got the 400, got the 400. <laughs> I got the oven on 400. I'm making them some biscuits, some Bob Evans sausage, and then I'm going to make them some eggs. Yep, they're going to go and have a nice hearty. I got the grill on. I have nice hearty, hearty, hearty breakfast. So their bellies will be good. <laughs> oh, CC, quit making me laugh. A nice hearty, harder need for asses. So their bellies will be full today. You know, I could probably probably just take uh, what Cece interprets Pinky is saying and, and put this stuff on some t-shirts or something like that. A hearty, harder need for asses. I really do think that that would be, yeah, I re a hearty, hearty, harder need for asses. And maybe we could, uh, maybe I could put a jackass up on the t-shirt with a pink bow in its, a pink bow in its head. A hearty, harder need for asses. Mm, I'm going to have to get my notebook out and uh, uh, write some of this stuff down. Okay. Open nights. When we have our Valentine's dinner. Yeah. So that is what I'm doing first thing this morning. I didn't even put my coffee on yet. Can you believe that? Me either. <laughs> Me either. But I'm about to. About to make the coffee. So what are you guys doing special for this Valentine? We are doing dinner at home. <laughs> Yes, we are. 
We don't ever do anything special, special, but I mean, to us, it's special. You know. Well, dinner. Pinky, I mean, dinner at home. Okay, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, but I would think even at this time, um, the the age of you and and Tim, and considering Haley wasn't, you know, uh, what was Haley? Fifteen years old. Let's see, what was it? What did I say? Twenty twenty twenty. Uh, whatever. And how she was fourteen. I would think that you know you and Tim could have went somewhere to have dinner, but it, you, Tim and Haley could have went somewhere. But I don't know, Pinky. I mean, you only have several. You only have a few uh, Valentine's videos up. I'm not very sure that you and Tim went anywhere. I don't, I don't believe that you did, but but like you said, it, it's special for you having dinner at home. So it's special for you, then that's all that matters. But I just kind of wanted to point out that I don't think that you and Tim, I don't think that Tim, you and Tim have ever gone anywhere, you know, for Valentine's, <clears throat> Valentine's dinner. Um, or anything, really, except staying at home. I'm have some desserts. You know, things like that. That's all you need. Yeah, see that? There's the kicker. There it is right there. Making, you know, make it. She didn't say make dessert. She said make desserts. Uh -huh. that's, that's what it's all about for Pinky. You know, getting them snacks, getting those, getting those treats and everything in. At least I don't. We don't. Nah. So I hope you guys all have a lovely lovely day I know we will it'll be nice so I'm gonna go off here and get all this done I think I'm just gonna score all the eggs be so much simpler and that's what we're gonna do gonna have me a coffee with it and no boy uh, my hand probably have orange juice with hers you know one thing I want to point out and I believe that I have wanted to point it out um, quite a few times oh man boy that <clears throat> Ooh, wee, that sore to uh, even swallow. Mm. Uh, that I wanted to point out uh, with Pinky and this, um, this here in particular. You know, I don't know that if this is, a, is it a Keurig? I think it might be a Keurig. It must be a cheaper type Keurig because this, uh, this thing here seemed to take the longest time uh, to get the water hot. And, you know, and mine, it was pretty much within, uh, uh, geez, I don't know, a matter of 10 seconds. Th this must be one of the cheaper versions. I don't know what it was, but this just seemed to take a long time to get a cup of coffee out of this particular machine. And I'm going to make some another coffee. I'm going to make some coffee soon as we get done. Yeah. Okay, here's the eggs and sausage. Still got a little bit longer on the biscuits, but they're getting there. Hold on, Pinky. Hold on. Get, let's see if you're going to get a little closer. Coffee. Oh, that's it. That's close enough. Extra <clears throat> uh -uh. Again, look at those eggs. I mean, this is what, when I say cooking something to death, that's, I mean, it, it, I mean, you just, it's just overkill on the eggs, Pinky. Pinky, uh, eggs do not have to be cooked that much when you're scrambling. You know, especially when you're scrambling. Um, uh-uh. These things here, they, they, they just, they're like rubber. Like rubber pellets or something that you see. That's just too, 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 too done. Hey, that's okay. And, uh, then I gotta get started making the desserts. Yeah. Do you guys want to see me make the desserts? Or no? This coffee is divine because it's... Last I looked, it was 8 degrees outside. Last night. That was last night. It's probably cold this morning. I don't have to look. And, uh, let y'all know. I probably stopped these biscuits, though. Because they probably should be getting way done, guys. Way done. Let's see. Here we go. Let's check them. Oh, yeah. Good and done. Good and done. Okay. So, what's going to make gravy? But I changed my mind. He's going to be hot, so I got to get special. And, uh, so I'm going to have to break that. Making us a heart-shaped pizza for dinner. Tonight. <laughs> you know, I was sitting here thinking, I, I do believe she said about making gravy, but I, 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 I don't know, the way she was rattling on, it, it sounded like she said she was going to make, or thought about making gravy or something. I really hope you did make gravy because uh, y you would need something like that to cover up those eggs. I mean, you would think, I mean, you seem to be so, so uh, happy and proud of yourself that uh, you're making uh, breakfast for um, your daughter and, well, Tim. 
for Valentine's Day. But girl, that's what you're going to put in front of them. So hopefully you did make the gravy, you know, to where you can, you know, drown those, um, uh, and drown those rubber ass looking uh, eggs or something to, uh, you know, cover it up, girl. I mean, I, and hopefully, uh, you know, get some, a little bit of taste. Um, because it probably won't be much taste. Have y'all ever had? I I'm sure. It's not, it's not, um, I'm sure most of us have had, um, overdone scrambled eggs before that somebody has made or, you know, I, I, listen, I, I went into a restaurant one time and got scrambled eggs and, and the scrambled eggs, they weren't pinky done, you know, pinky overdone, but they were a little overdone to my liking. You know, and you take one, you, you just know the taste. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm, yeah, that's just, um, you're killing the eggs is what you're doing. A, a damn egg does not need to be, you know, does not need to be cooked like that. Now, I guess if you somebody like, you know, maybe somebody likes, you know, fried eggs. And I mean fried, fried eggs as far as, you know, they want all of that crispy. Uh, again, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, like on an egg sandwich. Actually, me, um, when I do an egg sandwich up, I just get that. I like a little bit of the yolk. You know, I like the, I like that little bit. Uh, I like a firmness, but I still like the, the little bit of the softness of the yolk. I think I'm trying. Hey, hell, I think I'm trying to say it right. I got my eyes closed and everything. My uh, uh, my damn cheek is is like thumping. Uh, but y'all know it. You know how you got the dippy eggs. That's that's what we call them, dippy eggs. But I like to have that little bit of that you know softness of the yolk when I do an egg sandwich up. But I mean, to each his own. Uh, we know how Pinky likes her eggs. Yes, we are. Got a few flakes out there. <laughs> mm. and that's what you're making you said you were making pizza and this is what you're making chef boy rd chef boy rd listen i'm not you know i had this before i think on two occasions i had it you know younger days and i tell you what i mean neither time did i like it i mean it was just something that was like mm. I mean, I guess it's all right, but you know, you know, when you're younger and stuff and you're hungry, I mean, you're going to eat it. You ain't going to sit down and eat the whole damn thing, you know, but you you get a piece in. But I tell you what, I always said, uh-uh, when I get to where I can make my own money and I purchase stuff at the grocery store from my house, you won't ever, ever, ever see this in my cart, in my kitchen, in my cupboard, in my oven on my table and i have held true to that word to this day that i will not will not will not uh yes uh preach to the choir uh pe preach to the congregation excuse me that i will never ever buy some chef boy rd pizza because mm, and pinky you as a grown-ass woman a grown-ass woman you would have been better off. i'd have given you props if you had just ordered a pizza instead of doing making this stuff uh -uh, mm -mm. the sauce is cheap the dough is Again, that's just me. I'm going to buy my taste for it. I don't, I, well, I can't say my taste because I have no taste for it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It just, you know, I do not like it. I do not like it at all. But, yeah, uh, Pinky's going to give herself a pat on the shoulder. Yeah, y'all, look, I'm making, look what I'm making for dinner for my, <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, I, I can't get myself, look what I'm making for Tim. How about that? They're going to make it for Tim and for my daughter as far as that. And you know what? I'm going to pay for it because I'm rattling on right now and I guarantee you. I can, I can feel, I can feel that at some point when I stop, this bad boy's gonna start to thump. So I'm gonna get it in while I can. <laughs> then I'm making some Chef Boy RD pizza for my Tim and for my Haley girl. Mm -hmm. And some damn brownies with walnuts. Only Pinky. I swear, only Pinky. We get ready to do our brownies in my heart shaped pan. Got a beautiful card in the mail today. <clears throat> You're gonna make a Chef Boy RD pizza in a heart shaped pan. You think that's gonna cover up the taste? That if it's in a heart shape, that I don't know, somebody would be thinking, you know, of course I can't say anything because Tim Tim likes Chef Boy RD. She's not the only Tim has made the Chef Boy RD pizza too, so I mean he likes it and I'm sure Haley likes it. Haley had no choice, that's what she grew up, you know, probably eating most of the time. But anyway, but you would think to I don't know, to somebody like me, you could make it a heart shape, put it in front of me and be like, Oh, a heart shaped pizza. But I know it's Chef Boy RD pizza. Ain't gonna make no difference, girl. I don't care. You can, you can put that bad boy in a heart-shaped pan. You can dip that bitch in chocolate. <laughs> it ain't gonna make any difference. Oh, y'all. Oh, Lord have mercy. It hurts. Thank you, Karen, very much. It's beautiful. I love it. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. It is so stinking cute. Look at that. He's a puppy. Wait a minute. Is the card to you? 
Because she says it's stinking cute. Oh, well, that's what... Anyway, oh, Jesus, I have to take it back. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Tim. It's so stinking cute. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Did you forget to put the and in there? Or maybe you did say it, and, and, and I don't know, Cece... It, it didn't connect with Cece as far as that, but it'd be kind of weird that some, you know, I don't know, I guess this is from a viewer, that a viewer would be sending Tim a Valentine's Day card. Look at that, and he's got puppy holding it. Some hearts. It's so cute. Like a puppy holding some blooms. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful note inside. I really appreciate it. I love it. I love getting cards. It's so awesome. I got several, several um, Valentine cards. And that's all I need. Just some cards with some lovely message inside. Yeah, sure, Pinky. Sure, that's all you need is some cards with some lovely message inside. Yes, a, a lovely message and hopefully a gift card uh, or a check, a money order will do. I'm sure that's what you really meant to say, Pinky. You know, but that was nice. That was nice that someone sent you um, a Valentine's card. But I would imagine uh, that there was something else inside of there. I don't know why you wouldn't want to read the, you know. I mean, if it was just something, you know, somebody saying, oh, hey, happy Valentine's Day. I like, I love your videos, blah, blah, blah. Why wouldn't you want to share that? I don't know. Uh, you might not want to share it if it says something like, um, hey, Pink and Tim, you know, here, uh, Subway's on me. You know, something, something like that. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, um, it, you know, there, there was something. Uh, something like that in the card, but that was nice You can you, you can usually tell too because when pinky gets something like that. She's you know, she's uh, uh You can just tell she gets a little burst of energy and everything. She oh, I love these cards And you know, I love that's all I need is a card and a lovely message. Mm, yeah, sure pink. It's so awesome I really do appreciate you guys sending these to me taking the time and thinking of me on Valentine's. It's so cute I love it. Happy Valentine's and what she means to really, what she's actually saying is, I love that you guys uh, remember me on Valentine's Day and send me a Valentine card, uh, you know, with a little gift card, uh, you know, something like that, or um, sending me a card and, and a box of chocolates, because Tim does not buy me uh, a Valentine's Day card. Tim does not get me chocolate. Tim does not get me flowers. Anytime I show anything like that on this damn channel, it's something that I have bought, because Tim, he just always conveniently forgets to ever get me anything. Has Pinky ever shown anything? Oh, she might say, hey, I, I, you know, oh, look at this purse. You know, oh, Tim got it for me for, for Christmas and everything. He's like, sure he did, Pinky. No, Tim probably looked at you and said, hey, uh, you know, if um, uh, you ought to go ahead and get yourself one of them purses or something. And, you know, you could say, I, you know, you could tell your viewers that I got it for you, or, you know. But we all know. And when Pinky's sitting there saying as far as, you know, oh, I got these roses. Oh, Tim got them for me for my birthday and everything. Girl, you a damn liar. And she'd always have that Walmart cake on her birthday. We all know that you went into the Walmarts, you picked out your birthday uh, cake, and you picked out the flowers. Don't lie, Pinky. Don't lie. And I tell you what, um, Walmarts uh, has got some beautiful, um, has got some beautiful flowers. Roses, too. Hell of a lot cheaper than the floors. Hey, I always say, listen, don't go to no floors. Don't go be paying no 60, 70, 80 bucks for them, uh, for a dozen roses or 50, 60, whatever the hell they go for. I know they're expensive. Go to Walmart. And you go to Walmart, you get two, three dozen uh, roses for like, I don't know, like 30 bucks, something like that. Uh, we spend all that uh, money on flowers that are going to die off in like a week's time. or <laughs> No, go to Walmart. They got some beautiful flowers. Now, I don't know about every single Walmart, you know, in, in the country, but Walmart has got some beautiful flowers. And some of those flowers, especially uh, around Easter time, you can get some, you can get some really good deals. Well, I just figured I'd throw that in there because, you know, like I said, I don't believe in going to a florist. They want too damn much money. It's like, are you, are you seriously? You want that kind of money for a centerpiece or for a bouquet of flowers or something? No, go get you, a, you get you a nice vase uh, in, at the Walmarts, walk up, get you, pick you out a nice, beautiful bouquet of flowers and everything. And, and listen, you don't have to worry about your electric uh, being cut off or the gas bill or the water bill or anything because you wanted to get somebody a beautiful bouquet of flowers and you had to take the electric bill money uh, to buy them as far as that. No, ma'am, no, sir. Go to the Walmarts and do it. And that's my public service announcement <laughs> as, far as, as far as for flowers. Okay, guys, getting the um, cheesecake stuffed strawberries ready to go. Got my berry washer. Actually, you can use it. Whatever that I got for Christmas, Pioneer Lady or Woman. Pioneer Woman. What I got for Christmas, get the strawberries are washed. I already got them all um, hollowed out in the middle. See so this hollow out? Got it up, put it on clear water. And I love it, that this little plate comes with it. I kind of set of these, but it's for this berry washer. It's got the holes in it. 
so cute. I love this little thing. You and you that can watch anything, you know. This is what it said. I'm sure. And then you got your spit to set it on for the water. How awesome is that? I like that. Oops, I forgot to put my clip. Oh, well, Pinky, that, must, that might be one of the coolest, coolest, coolest things that I have ever seen in my life. A damn little berry strainer. Well, it's just a small strainer. You can use it for anything. And you got a little plant. And the Pioneer Lady, uh, it's okay, Pinky. Pioneer Lady, Pioneer Woman, uh, whichever. I'm sure she would ans answer uh, to either one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all already know how I am as far as I... Listen, the Pioneer Woman... Uh, listen, I've gotten some recipes off of her site before. Uh, re... I have, I hope I'm saying her name right, Re, um, or Pioneer Woman. I've gotten recipes from her site. She seems like, she seems like a lovely person. She seems like, and see, I always say it seems that way because we just see them on TV and everything or, you know, when they're doing an interview. So you always think, oh, they, but don't they seem very, she seems very pleasant. She seems very sweet. But then, I don't know, you might have a raging lunatic when she get back home or something. So I don't know. That's, so that's why I always say, it. well, she seems like it. But y'all already know how I feel about that woman has her, got her name on everything and i'm telling you everything from curtains to furniture to i believe she might even have some sheets uh she has got everything with her name on it okay she's probably a damn billionaire by now and i have always said you know some things i think are cute like oh that's pretty you know but i'm just not into it i look at it this way this is my motto if you're a billionaire it, listen uh, you getting a hundred dollars from me isn't gonna make or break you, so you don't have to worry about it. But she got too damn much money. Anyway, who y'all got for the football game? Well, we got we got the Detroit Lions playing the San Francisco 49ers. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like, you know, it'd probably be nice if Detroit were were to win. You know, they don't get there. You know, some of these teams they they just always get to the Super Bowls. Like give somebody else a damn chance. Um. Kansas City Chiefs against the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. I think about that one movie, that Silence, uh, what was it, Silence of the Lambs, and that lady, uh, you know, she giving that conference, she said, how in the hell did she say it? She, she, uh, maybe that's how they say it. <laughs> I, always, I always say Baltimore. 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 But anyway, um, I am not a Chiefs fan. I really am not. I think they've been there uh, enough times. Let somebody else have a chance. So, um, I'm taking Baltimore, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Detroit Lions. That, that's Carmen's. That's going to be my pick. Playing in the window. Need to take it out, right? Okay, so now I'm going to get the cream tea, cream cheese mix. Okay, the next thing you need is one package of the cream cheese room temperature, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're going to need one fourth cup of graham cracker, graham crackers crumbled up. And I got my little machine back here to crumble up those. So you blend this up with a mixer. Hey guys, here's the brownies. It's on, seriously, it's supposed to be a heart shaped pan look. But, uh, don't look too heart shaped, but. Well, <clears throat> Pinky, let me, let me just chime in for a second. Once you turn this out, see, usually molds like this, they kind of look like this from the top. But if you. When you turn it over, you should have more of the heart definition. Now you should, um, but yeah, don't look at don't look at it from the top. Turn it over. Kind of does. I needed to dip this more, in words I think, but the brownies look good. Yeah, like I said, walnuts in them. Okay, guys. So I just put my ninja and got my graham cracker crumbs all done up, and I got the filling all mixed up. This tastes good. I tasted it. <laughs> I want to know what it looked like, so I'm going to put it in a bag and uh, start filling these up. This is so simple, but I can tell it's going to taste good because this mixture is really good. It tastes good just dipping a graham cracker for a minute, using it as maybe like a, you know, like a dip or something. Yeah. Okay, put it down in the corner of your bag. Now, let me point something out. Pinky, I know I give you a lot of flack over, um, you know, the way you cook and the way you bake, but clearly... Pinky is not as dumb as as I think she is because what she's about to do I mean it is it's a very simple recipe I mean she just and, and Pinky I like that that you actually showed you know you actually you actually showed something instead of you know everybody looking at your stomach but she's about to take this cream cheese filling and she's going to put that in this Ziploc bag now the reason why you know it's kind of like oh you know because I have pastry bags but sometimes I don't want to fool with the pastry bag and I will do this the Ziploc bag um 
uh, little deal here. And that's what she's going to do. So it's like, so clearly, Pinky, uh, you can follow directions. You can take the time when you want to. Um, so I'm actually kind of, um, yeah, I kind of got my eyes like, mm, what, gee, Pinky, you know. I don't want to use the word impressed, you know, because it's a very easy recipe and everything. But, yeah, you know how to do some things, Pinky. It's just you just Pinky choose not to. Yeah, this make a good homemade, definitely homemade cheesecake. And it's so simple, too. It took me longer just to figure out the thing. <laughs> okay, and I'm putting it all on some china. Fong on china. So, just move it all down now to the corner. Like that. I'll have you a piping bag. Like everybody else does. Snip it right here. I've did this many a times. Even for, um, let me get this down all the way. I'm going to leave you guys up here on the cutting board. Because I think it'll be easier for y'all to see. A little bit better. Trying to get the perfect angle for y'all. <laughs> and we'll move the crumbs here. Wow. Trying to get the perfect angle and everything. See, I don't know what happened, Pinky. I don't know where just somewhere you just, I don't know, you got too lazy or you just didn't think you needed to do stuff like this anymore. But see, actually seeing something like this, it's like, you know, oh, okay, well, you know, it, it's a little bit enjoyable because you're actually, you know, uh, it's, oh, I gotta watch how I say this. Boy, I tell you what, my, oh, Lord have mercy. That back, and, and let me tell you, the, the, the work was done in, in, way in the back. Yeah, way, way back in there. You know, wisdom teeth uh, back. But, yeah, see, stuff like this, Pinky, is actually enjoyable. You're actually showing how it's done. Uh, you know, you're taking, you're putting a little bit of effort into it. We're not used to seeing this girl. That ninja I got, it does, um, I'll have to show you guys, I don't know. I've showed it many time, other times. Okay, then you get, as uh, you get the middles out. And then you just, can you guys, you guys can't see. You do that. And then you just dip it in the crumbs. And you want the That's actually chip. a really good idea. And I know she didn't come up with it. I mean, I, I you know, she she got it offline. Or, yeah, well, offline, yeah, online. Um, that's actually, actually a really good idea. I mean, now something like that. Now, see, I would like something like this. So that's a really good idea. I have to keep that in mind. But you could probably, like, do different things as far as <clears throat> with a cheesecake filling. Um, but you could maybe even do something like that with, like, peaches. You know, when peaches are, are, are good and ripe that time of year. You take it, cut it in half, and, uh, you know, you already have from where the pit was. You already have that little indentation. Ooh, what you could do is uh, you could take and cut the peaches in half and put them on the grill, you know, just for, uh, you know, just to where you get that little, you know, the little sear on top of the peach. Then you could take and uh, maybe put this, put this uh, cream cheese mixture, um, like in the, uh, in the middle of it. And then maybe do a dip in the ground. You know, I'm, I'm just here thinking to myself. I'm letting it fly through my head like, hmm, does that sound good? And then do the dip in the um, graham cracker crumbs. That actually sounds pretty damn good. Hmm. Still in the oven. Or in the oven. Not in the oven. Oh, good Lord. In the refrigerator. For about an hour at least. Oh, I cannot wait to try these. These will be so perfect to make for summertime, too. To take, um... You know, to cook out or even just to make it home yourself, you know? These would be so perfect. I have a lot of filling here, so but I only went and got one thing of strawberries. Wish I got a would I wish I would have got two. Because um Oh they're on sale. <laughs> strawberries are really cheap right now. But I thought this is all we need. See how we got brownies and stuff, you know? I don't need that many. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I just figured this was all we knew because, you know, we got we got them brownies and, you know, the pizza and stuff like that. Oh, Pinky. Pinky, I don't think you needed the brownies. I think the, the strawberries um, would have been uh, just fine. But I get you wanted to go with the, you know, oh, you got to have strawberries and you got to have chocolate, you know. So uh, in Pinky mind, she's like, well, hey, let me do this recipe here with the strawberries. And, yeah, uh, you know, I know there's no chocolate. So I'll just make up a, a damn pan of brownies. Sorry, guys, I'm not even showing you this. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. You know how to fill them, don't you? It's real simple and easy, it is. Totally simple. I'm not going to get the pizzas done. It's only 440, though. I don't want to make them too early. Because you know how you get hungry. Okay, so there's a bunch out here, so. Still left, I might take them. I've blended up way too many graham crackers, but oh well. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. Look at that, guys. 
Look how yummy that looks. Don't those look good? I'll let you, I'll definitely let you guys know how they taste for sure. Okay, guys, there's our pizza. I loaded it down with cheese. I could not get the heart shape, so we just went like this. You know what I mean? Still looks yummy, though, don't it? Look at that. Yum, yum. I put so much on it, ran over on the side. Oops. Okay, guys, happy Valentine's Day. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Love you and bye. So, um, I, I mean, I don't know. Valentine's, Valentine's Day's, Valentine's Day food, what I ate. I mean, we didn't see, maybe, maybe it was all for Pinky. She didn't make it. It didn't seem like it was enough. It was enough of those strawberries for the three of them, you know. But, I mean, who knows. But, yeah, and we can clearly see on this brownie that, yes, it was definitely, definitely, uh, cooked longer than it needed to be. But, it, it, huh. Uh, we've seen worse from uh, Pinky's Brownies. But anyway, so y'all, I'm going to get off here because um, I, I need to take something uh, for this because, yeah, it's really agitating me uh, right now. But I will definitely um, do the react for um, uh, uh, whatever food that the whole family is going to love. Uh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late and everything, but yeah, yeah, I was out, I was out of commission yesterday. Uh, not with that. And <laughs> hoo -wee. But anyway, I hope y'all have been having a beautiful week. I love you all, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.